All right, how about a little Friday night firefight? We've got two fellows here. This guy, the stats are here. HP of 10, submachine gun skill of 14. He's got a dodge of eight. Here's the stats of the submachine gun. Okay, this guy over here has a pistol. It's in just a nine millimeter. They're both firing nine millimeters. Pistol of 14, dodge of eight. Uh, 2d2, uh, 2d plus two is the damage versus the three dice minus one of the SMG. <clears throat> it hits a little harder. That's the stats. We start out in the open. And we'll see who goes first. I'll just roll randomly. Okay, sure. They act simultaneously. Let's play this uh, round out simultaneously. They both uh, will say they're both just going to run for cover. This is a, a table, a flipped up table. You can get crouched behind that for full cover. This is a, a tree, we'll say, a skinny tree. You can get behind that for, um, for three quarter cover. It'll uh, inflict a minus two. To hit. You can't quite get full cover behind that. Okay, uh, it's partial cover. So since they're acting the same, we'll say they both move and attack. Okay, so they can both move five. One, two, three, four, five. So he's going to get there. One, two, three, four. He's going to get there. And they're both going to shoot at each other while they're running. So um, one, two, three, four. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 is the range. At 13 yards, they are suffering a minus 5 to hit. And they're running um, while shooting, so they suffer the bulk penalty. Depending on the bulk of the weapon, some weapons are easier to run and shoot with. For instance, the pistol, minus 2, okay? So this guy has a minus 7 to hit this guy as he runs. At that range and this guy um, has a minus uh, five plus minus four who <laughs> minus nine to hit with that submachine gun okay this is where things get interesting though they also moved laterally to each other if somebody's running at you it wouldn't uh, be harder to hit They're just getting closer but when somebody moves uh, sideways to you we factor in the uh, the movement as well. So they moved five yards, that's good for an additional minus two to their hits. Okay, so since we'll do both these at the same time, this guy's got uh, minus nine, and this guy has minus, minus 11 to hit. They're both gonna uh, shoot off. So the rate of fire on this pistol is three shots. He'll just blaze away with his three shots. Um, and his recoil, meaning two, that means um, for every two, uh, two points by which I roll under my target number, I score another hit. So I have a minus nine um, from 14, so I needed, I needed a three. Critical hit is on a three. Um, yep, so fail. And this guy, he needs a, he needs a three as well. Um, heck no. Oh yeah, no, I needed a five. He needs a three. And okay, and he, he I was going to, um, actually, he rolls a nine. He's going to just full round, um, just fully automatic fire, full auto fire. Uh, he can, rate of fire is 13, uh, which getting 13 shots in the air, that gives him a plus three. So that uh, only brings him down to six. So he needed a six. Okay. So picture, he missed with every shot. So picture this scene, these guys start here, they draw their weapons at the same time, and they just start running sideways while shooting at the other. This guy gets three shots off, John Wick style. Misses with every one of them, maybe not John Wick style. This guy blazes away with 13 rounds out of his Uzi, um, and misses with every single one of them. Now everybody's behind cover. Next round. Let's just see who goes first this time. Let's make it interesting. Um, okay, sure. This guy, this guy goes first. So he's behind cover. He can't see anything. He's ducked down. This guy is behind cover, but he can he can uh, he can see because well he can't get behind full cover anyway. So he might as well peek his head around. Minus two to hit this guy. 
he, however, uh, since he can't, at the beginning of his attack, he is behind full cover. So to get this guy, he has to do what's called the old pop-up attack. Okay, so the pop-up attack, uh, I believe it's minus two. Mm, let's see, take a look here. Pop-up attack, minus two. No aim, possible. You can take uh, spend a second to aim. This guy is probably going to do that, since he can't get good cover anyways. But he goes first, so he pops up. Minus two for the pop-up attack. Minus two to hit this guy. That's a minus four this time. Minus four, and the range now is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 13. 13 is still still the same as last time. Uh, that's a minus five to hit, so that's minus nine he's looking at. He's gonna dump another 13 shots out of his 30. Uh, he'll go full rate of fire, that gives him a plus three to hit. Lead. So that's only going to be a minus six. Okay, 14 minus six. Need an eight or less to score a hit. Oh, okay. 13 rounds flying across the gap, tearing into this tree and missing, but one strikes him. This guy will try to dodge. Need an eight or less. He does it. He ducks, he ducks back just enough into cover that he doesn't get hit. This guy is uh, 26 shots down out of his 30. So he's got four shots left, and then he's gonna have to reload. This guy's taken three. Let's keep track of this. He's got, uh, he's down to 12. He's down to four. Okay. And then he, he ducks back down, obviously. For his movement, you can change postures or take a step on your attacks. Um, so that would be, he just stood up, shot, drop back down. This guy, he's going to peer around and he's going to, since he can't see him, and he probably can't shoot through this cover, with weaker cover or a stronger gun, he, he could try that, but he's not going to bother with his 9mm. Um, he's going to spend his turn aiming at this guy. Now, since he can't actually see him, he doesn't know where he'll pop out. He could pop out around, he could pop out here over the middle, or he could pop out around here. Or here, actually. So that's four. One, two, three, four. This guy effectively has to cover four hexes with his pistol. Okay, so, um, aiming, he gets a the accuracy of his weapon applied, and he takes one round to aim, so every round you aim, you get a plus one additionally, so he's got a plus three to hit, plus three, he's got uh, minus for the range, he's got, uh, what is it, minus five, ouch, and then he has to be watching four hexes, um, and that is going to inflict an additional um, minus two. Because he will have to adjust to fire when the guy pops up. So that's um, a, a total of minus four. Okay, so he's aiming and he waits. He needs a ten. Minus four total. So he waits for this guy to then take his turn, okay? And he'll interrupt him. Comes back to this guy. He sees that he's low in ammo and he wants to just put rounds down range so he's gonna take a second to draw um, to draw a new magazine this guy will continue aiming he gets a plus one for another round um, so now he's at minus three to hit this guy's turn again he inserts the magazine he doesn't have any fast draw skill or anything like that um, and that's the end of his turn this guy gets a, a third and final plus one from Amy. So he now has a minus two. And he still waits to interrupt this guy. This guy with a fresh magazine in. Pop 
pop up attacks again. This guy's ready for him, takes a shot. He's a 12 or less. 